Much to the catch up right now. I take the time out right now to introduce you all to She Richardson. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out to She PC. What's good? What's Thank up, you buddy? for being here. So, um, we're going to set it off like this. Yes, sir. I understand you have a reality show. Yeah. It's called the She Richardson Reality Show. Yes, sir. This is a YouTube platform based thing. Absolutely, you're right. Okay, bet. That's what's up. She recording us too, y'all. So we get down like that. Make sure y'all catch it on YouTube a little later. You know what I'm saying? That's how we get it down all the way around the board. So tell us about the She Richardson reality show. All right, basically, She Richardson reality show. Uh, how I got started was, you know, of course, uh, we had some hard time, went through some struggles, uh -huh. and uh, I was away for a minute, and I was watching television, and when I was watching television, I kept seeing all these reality shows, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, wow, well, my life, if I tell them about my life, my life is a straight reality show. Right. So I seen a lot of drama on there, act and stuff, but I said they was misleading the households, though. Wow. It was starting stuff. So I said, let me break it down my way because I don't want to come at very, very religiously and mm -hmm. stuff like that, what I meant to. So what I did was um, I came up with the content of my last name, you know, the Richardson family. A lot of people know my family. And I used my Muslim name, She Richardson. So right. uh, once we got started, I also did my first video, right? I was just okay. joking. Right. I got 72,000 views. Just really? joking. Wow. Wow. That's you know what I'm nice. saying? And that's nope. a that's a good way to um come on and uh, introduce yourself to the world is by like seventy two thousand people tuning in. That happened by just uploading it to YouTube, or did you do like Facebook or no, listen, TikTok? I, <laughs> no, I up, actually uploaded to YouTube. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? It was no one on South Street. Everybody know Philly. You know what okay. I mean? You know we on South Street. His and hers. Shout out to his and hers. You All know right. And, yeah, uh, shout out to his and hers, man. I haven't been over there in a while, yeah. but I heard it's a lot going on still, you know, through his and hers. Yeah, absolutely, man. You know, he was one of the star. My boy Sal, he's the owner. And, you Sal, know, my guy. <laughs> my guy. You know, yeah. we, we got started. He definitely did a little couple events there and stuff like that. Great. And I did security next door. I did a lot. Everybody know me. You know what I mean? So I made okay. this video. It's called uh, White Guys Fight 2. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, <laughs> White Guys Fight 2. <laughs> yeah, okay. you know what I mean? And it was just actually <laughs> jumping on each other. So, you know, Vlog, and they got at me. They wanted me to sign some type of deal. Okay. But they wanted to change my style a little bit, the Vlog. So I'm okay. like, no, man, I'm not. <laughs> I'm going to keep it played, man. I don't care. Yeah, because you had your... Yeah, um your, your secret sauce already built in, so you knew what worked for you from just going at it. Right, you know what I okay. mean? So I didn't really, like I said, when I did the reality show and everything, I mm -hmm. basically didn't want to do too much violence. It was, okay. It's weird how people attracted violence. They like crazy stuff. Yeah. So then I had another one with the 11K views with the... Um, uh, it was called the Yaki fight. Really? <laughs> These the girls out in the box. With yeah. The hair the Yaki? Yeah, I call it Yaki, but I don't know if it was Remy okay. or Yaki. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. 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 But these girls cause a fight, most definitely. And there's a good buddy of mine, too. He know who he is. But they was fighting over him and stuff like that. It was like 11 <laughs> KV. So I was just, I said, yo, I'm going to keep pumping and stuff. So I did right. a lot of stuff on South Street. Okay, cool. And then after that, I uh, moved to this, you know, with the city and stuff like that. Okay. Um... We, I actually, you know, I was I was a married man one time, you know, it, yeah. it shame to warm, you know. Yeah. Um, and I was just doing my things, you know, and I was also showing the family life, like what it's like to, the, oh, that's cool. You know, go out with the yeah, family, out the man, yeah, Maze Landing, mm -hmm. out in New Jersey, we got the big okay. mansion out there, no doubt. We out there doing things like that. So then. I, you know, I started getting guests. You know, shout out to Gilly and all that. You know what I'm nah, saying? I got Gilly. Gilly. You know what I mean? Mel Dodds were for game. I had him on my joint. You know what I'm saying? I got him. Mm -hmm. uh, then I and I, I got Oskino on there. You know what I'm saying? Shout mm -hmm. out to my man, Petey Crack. You know what I'm saying? Right. We got Crack on there. I, I grew up listening to State Property. And I got Freeway on my joint, too. Awesome. So I'm out here networking with really what's going on out in these streets. And I think Philadelphia, okay. uh, 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 me from that city, has it's like we need attention, too. Yeah. We need to know what's going on. Yeah, you need a spotlight put on what's going uh, on here. Recently, I heard uh, we done topped out over 400 murders in the city, you know, this year alone. You know what I'm saying? And we still, uh, we still like, got one more quarter of the year to go. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I want to shout out to a couple of few people, too. So I also got mm -hmm. some shows out. You know, I got to shout out Camden. You know what I'm saying? My Camden plans. CMD. Yeah, they already know. So, uh... <laughs> 
I shout out to my boys, you know, Polak, you know what I'm saying? I uh, shout out to all my Broadway dudes. Yeah. I'm a big vendor out there in Philly. Oh, you know, real I'm a, crazy. Uh, Camden, I'm you sorry. can't say Candid and don't say North Candid. Uh, shout out to North, North Candid. Candid. North Candid, <laughs> right? I mean, what's up? <laughs> North Candid, <laughs> North Side. Oh, you can't say uh, Candid and don't say North. You I'm know a, what I'm saying? I got it. <laughs> State Street, right? Is that State Street? Word. All right, no New York. Uh, uh, I don't know. I gotta shout it out. You know what I'm saying? The whole North Massive. Uh, I'm sorry, she. Go ahead, finish telling no us. No doubt. <laughs> and I went over Camden, man. You know, they embraced me out there, out in Jersey, too. They show love. Uh, we got the vendor. You know, we got the fragrance line, too. We got the SNR, it's called. Right. SNR fragrance. SNR right? fragrance. Yeah, okay. so we got to. So on our reality show, like I said, right now, mm -hmm. we just give you. A little bit, because right, right now we're looking at real major networks. Like, I want to work with MTV because of okay. uh, it's different cultures, you know what I'm saying? Right. It's African, uh, you know, we, we love, you know, different people, but it's different people like uh, Italians yeah. and, and some Irish, J Dutch, and German. Like, I just did a rock concert, baby. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out shout out to uh, uh, Guns N' Roses, too, you know what I mean? Whoa, you serious? I, yeah, yeah, I did okay. the Guns N' Roses show. I, I do a lot. And AC to Atlantic City. We out here okay. traveling a little bit, you know. And shout out to my Baltimore players, man. We out Baltimore. All right, shout out to Baltimore. It's from second home right there. West side, you man. The west side, indeed. Where you at? You already. <laughs> so my reality show, we just giving y'all little skits, like maybe for five, four minutes. But when we get the real reality, like when we get to uh, MTV or maybe yeah. BET, VH1, whatever it was, uh, we had to pick. Then y'all gonna see the, the whole full stuff. But right now we tell people to log on, watch with some of your Funnyville comment, see yeah. what's up. It's a lot of different networks out there too that um, mm -hmm. they're embracing uh, natural reality series and things like that. So uh, you 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 on the right the right path with that. Thanks. You know, yeah, and, and seeking to expand your platform. I think that's quite uh, interesting. Another, another yeah. thing, too, I want to shout out, you know, everybody, whatever we get, so whatever. Uh, I had to do an opportunity, too, to work with the Masons and the Nobles, too. Okay, you know what no I'm saying? Doubt. And, uh, you know, the sisters and all that. So we did a big shout out on Market Street. Uh, you know, it was late night. And I said the cops was called. They tried to call the cops on the Mason. Oh, this is really? Joe Wedding. Yeah, yeah that didn't work out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, hey, can we party, too? <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. No doubt. Yeah. I saw one episode of okay. uh, your reality series uh, show. And okay. um, on YouTube, you were eating salad and you was talking with the people. And I thought that was like um, very interesting the way you uh, pulled the people in and had them plug into what you was talking about, what you was doing at that time. Right. Now, do you cover different scenarios where you might be somewhere and you just plug in with everybody? Like, look, I'm right here right now. It's going down. Yeah, I, you know, you want to inform the people and let them know what's going on. Because okay. some people don't want to be on camera. So we'll do, uh, usually we do the signing. Like people say, yeah. people sign the paper. If you want to be in it, you want to be in it. Okay. If not, you know, it is what it is. We we, we, we go by and put it out there. That's all. I mean, it's, it's reality, man. You know, it's nothing to hide. There's no scripts. There's no nothing. We, we off from the, you know, hip. Yeah. But we know we go on TV and we got to do a uh, reality <laughs> show. But, so uh, what, what's, what's your end? Um, you inlay with it. Like, where does it lead to? The reality series. Or I know what, we're catching a, a photographic, uh, visual of what's going right. on with you during your life, but what is the goal? Oh, I'm glad you said that. Uh, mm -hmm. One of the goals is, man, my reality show is what to do and what not to do, right? Okay. Um, I do cover, like, if you notice, I do talk funny on there. Okay. Uh, like, uh, shout out to Keith for the uh, block, too. Keith from uh, up the block. block. <laughs> That's my guy. He got yeah. the Mondays going on. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I did a little stand-up drink with him one time. He was laughing. You stand-up, too? Well, I'm not really a stand-up guy. I ain't gonna lie, man. I'm, I'm just... <laughs> I do a little comedian. I talk for him. I'm like, hey, guys, we're live here on the Sheer Richard Reality Show. It gets crazy. So I'm one of them guys, this, uh -huh. this, this black guy. I'm, I'm a nerd guy. And I'm in the middle of the hood. And they're fighting and crazy. I'm like, hey, guys, we're <laughs> live here. This you sounds know. fun. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? No doubt. No doubt. Uh, Shout out to Keith from Mother's Block. That's my you know guy. Say, too. Uh, Love you what know. you're doing, brother. Um, you know, and and the and the comedy series too. I do look at. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm getting tired of people. Now listen, mm -hmm. hey, hey, shout out to Kevin Hart, man. You got to give me a check or so. Hey, listen, man. You know what's crazy? Every time I walk, somebody will say, "Yo, you remind me of Kevin Hart." I'm like, "Yo, what's up?" I mean, I like Kevin Hart. Yo, you know, it's funny. I do got like the same aura, like right here. Like it's crazy. <laughs> I'm like, yo, man, it's all good. I, I shout out to the Hawks. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's funny you said that. Yeah. I was just at the um, okay. comedy show uh, last week, and they had DC Curry here in Philly. Okay. And uh, Uncle Elroy from uh, Friday series. Okay. And he was uh, explaining how he, he loved Philadelphia because, yeah. you know, the people are so real. And without Cease, Ugh. I always come across um, characters, people, yeah. Uh, yeah, different entities here in Philadelphia that uh, surpass what's going on around the country. It's a different space here in Philly. It really is. It, right here yeah. at home is a different yeah. space. Um, and we so creative in Memphis, though. Absolutely. <laughs> I, I think, yeah. you know, like, even with, like, you know, shout out to my THC smokers. Anybody, we, they do different <laughs> laws. Like, in Jersey, it's legal, you know, right, water. Right, right. Like, here, like, you got to hide. Different laws, different states be but different you, stuff. You know it's crazy, though, yeah, she? We're good. I've, I've seen people blow in front of the police face over here in Philly on South Street. Like, oh, you yeah. know, it is what it is. I'm about to put this joint in the air. Yeah. And they just go. No, yeah. No fear. I guess they really got to understand that the jails and stuff was packed, right? So they don't want to be <laughs> taking people up for meatball stuff. Like, and that's what they be, uh, right. some people do that. It's like, yo, what you a uh, rookie? Yeah. Like, yeah. It's Mike Brooker. Yeah. Yeah. So good for it, Dwight. Like, yeah. I seen it. Yeah. I actually been pulled over in uh, Philly I, and uh, went weed. Yeah. And. You know, the cop is like, man, I ain't even with all that paperwork right now. Get out of my face. Right. I'm like, whoa, what a day. Yeah. I, yeah, it was but, a whole happy day. It was crazy. And when you, but what I'm saying about. Ago, though, okay, I mean, yeah, like, oh. Yeah, uh, What I wanted to say about the structures of the city, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to take a, a person with some nice, good change that really want to come over here and open up something. I uh, like shout out to Rick Ross, you know what I'm saying? He a real businessman, entrepreneur. Uh, it was mm -hmm. like, uh, it was some empty gas stations. I remember he had said, you know, he want to buy back the block. And a lot of people miss out on that song. I want to buy back the block yeah. because that's what we should be doing in our community, buying uh, real estate and, and business and, and all that, and investing, family. right, yeah, and yeah. having more stuff with the kids to do in the family. I'm a big yeah. believer into that. You know what I'm saying? Indeed. Uh, Indeed. Like uh, with Philadelphia, they make a bill. A lot of New Yorkers, you know, because in the New Yorker, you know what I'm saying, the cost of the barrels was a lot of money. So yeah. a lot of people coming over here now. So yeah. we getting different traffic from everywhere. Yeah. You know what I mean? Feel, then we, move, you know, people moving in. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, a lot of people going, like I said, different colleges and stuff like that. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? <laughs> you know it's real deal most definitely so yeah. uh tell us more about the uh the fragrance oh yeah uh now listen as y'all should know oh <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah i'm glad you touched on that i did my yeah. little commercial uh you did a commercial yeah a little commercial okay. mini giant little music in the background doing my thing yeah um snr fragrances uh i i gotta keep it real so as me doing positive and, and you know people out there we started off selling oils we had a gang of balls cch center city house and shout out to my center city house filled off in uh, different cities you and stuff that click the uh the young boys that run up with you with the oil like hey hold that <laughs> i used to and yeah like, i used to i used to do that i used to do that, I, yeah. I do that. <laughs> but i almost and, got and, a lot of fights <laughs> over that I, well, you know what i Keep oil on me yeah. all the time. You all, so yeah. I be like, yo, I'm good. I'm good, yeah. yeah. He good, man. But you know, yeah. he'll smack it in your head. Right, yeah, he take that. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm gonna tell you right, and, 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 you know, it's real Sweet. stuff. Any any hockey's yeah. anybody don't know. As we start Fifty Second Street, the Deuce. Okay. Uh, uh, you know, uh, shout out to uh, blessing my man. You know, love blessing. Uh, uh, shout out to Yusuf. He was one of my OGs. Um, mm -hmm. He basically had a store called Three D Fashions and all the hockey's. We was out there, and if we come to Fifty Second Street, he was like, "Yo, how you doing? What's up? Stop!" Everybody was in a rush. Hold that. Hey, take that. Take that. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like to give me a donation? <laughs> yeah. That was the name of the game. Uh, <laughs> I started with that, but you know what? They messed the oil game up. They was like, oh, it break me out. Oh, it did this. I'm getting tired of people. So right. <laughs> I, I, I went and took a little course. Okay. You understand? And you know, you got your Bujato people. Yeah, it's my Bujato's, you know what I mean? Shout out to the BGA, though. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, yeah. <laughs> so it was like, yeah, that stuff break me out. This and that. I was like, oh, my God, I'm tired of hearing it because the water that. So okay. they had crackheads smelling it. I'm like, yo, I got to get to a bag. So. Like, if you used to be on a block, like, you grinding, you used to getting four and a half ass point house and whatever, slabs of gas, right, whatever. Right, right. You thinking about the same time. So you don't have time for no five dollars, five dollars, five dollars. I said, something got to change. Right. So uh, I think what the Chinese people do. You know, I went around one day. I took a couple mm -hmm. courses and about businesses. One of the things was fragrances. And I learned how to mix it up. So the same stuff oh. we get, 
I made my own fragrance line. So really? I know okay. I know what women like and I know what dudes like. Right. So I tell people, I said, listen, man, it's SNR, man. When you buy my drink, right? Listen, just put it on. And just go somewhere classy yelling, and I guarantee that thing you got that thing from Macy's. And they were like, damn, what's that? That's that S N R blue. Yeah, you know I mean S N R blue popping <laughs> and S N R G chopping. Yeah. You know I mean? All right. So uh, on, on street level, what's your favorite oil? Like, uh, your personal favorite. <laughs> something that you just, oh man, this is it. Every time I wear this, it's like, uh, yeah, the Star Spangled Banner playing it. You know, I, 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 you know what? Like, I, 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 I would be over Jurassic Rage. I'd be like, yo, I got that Amber White. But no, I mean, no, listen, but, um, yeah, man. See, I grew up on old school was Blue Nile, right? Okay, Blue Nile. But it was an old school drink. Then, summer, run with the summer. Yeah, Blue right. Nile. And then, <laughs> yo, you funny. And then the Polo Black. Polo Black. And then, you know, it was, it was the, the Versace. It did different ones. Yeah, so, Love of a Law. Love of a Law. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you funny. Nah, you gotta put that in there. Right. Damn. So, <laughs> it, 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 so what I did was, you know, I, I seen that, and I seen that. So now I I, I, I go to the Blue Jetto people, and uh -huh. I make my colognes. Um, I actually want to actually show a sample. He bought so, some here. I brought one to show y'all. Just real, real quick, y'all. Hold on. I got to show you the SNR. Hold on. I got y'all. One awesome. second. One second, y'all. You know what I mean? We live with Del Rey. Reality show. Reality show. I'm real yeah, good. She Richardson, reality yeah, show. You came I'm in. Right, yeah. I got to see these bottles. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, it ain't no slouch work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but what we here. want to do is right now, they ain't labeled right now. Look at, look at my little uh, bottle yeah. that I keep personally in my yeah. pocket at all times. So, I like. The now, I gotta keep it real that a lot of people out here, yeah, they I can see they from gays, they're gonna they're gonna copy that's whatever. Good, right. Yeah, that's the SNR blue. Sheesh. And this is this is for the women, SNR fever. Y'all know it's gonna be labeled on it. <laughs> for, all the elegant <laughs> women that's going it's out, listen. About to go down. Listen, on the up. birthdays, you know, on the birthday, I was in Atlantic City, right? Uh -huh. And I put some stuff on, you know, I walked out, I you know, I do what it do. Damn, right. you smell good. SNR is a fragrance that taxes the hormones of the women. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and the man is, uh, is, is too. So, so this is, the purple one is the female? Yeah, that's I'm SNR fever, right. I'm, I'm like the, the smell connoisseur for everybody today, right. being that we're dealing with sonically moving things today. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, it's official, y'all. Yeah, man. Yeah. Up. <laughs> man, that's nice. You, yes, sir. Uh, you yeah. know, uh, and it's my SNR blue. You know what I'm saying? That, I smell that, too. Yeah. Ah oh, man, yeah. yeah. So you you just deal with these two main fragrances. Well, no, I got S and R G. I just don't want to load the table up and stuff. But they you just, can. We got this uh, big table. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. We right here in the studio right now. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Huge table. Well, I, I got S and R pink. I got a few things, but I just wanted really? to show those main okay. two. Yeah. Uh, I got a lot of stuff, and it's also we got nice. business cards, and wow. you know. Fragrances and stuff. So right. basically, get me on Instagram. Cards the staff out here. Yeah, you I got, I got, I, 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 joints. yeah, I got my board up there. A lot of people, from, you know, I saw them on the board too, y'all. We walking in the halls, <laughs> yeah. coming into the recording space, yeah, man. In the studio, and I see uh, she Richardson reality show. show so yeah, man, I knew what well, it was hitting for right then and there. That's what I'm talking about. You know, mm -hmm. and my thing is that, but I, I, you know, I, I keep it real with, with with a lot of people, man. You know, mm -hmm. uh, we are in these two cities where famous people come from. Absolutely. Um, and I'm pretty sure you can name some artists of people that came from Camden, too, came from Jersey. Yeah, no and, and, and it's a few, a lot of them. And, and there's people who came from Philadelphia who really made it. And yeah, Bill Cosby. Bill, <laughs> Fresh Prince. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. Hey, they yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey. All these people. So, and, and like I said, and they, people, <laughs> right. Hey, chill, holla. Right. Like, you know, Freeway. Yeah. I, I mess with my man Freeway a lot because mm -hmm. a lot of people don't understand that, like, he didn't give up on this stuff. Whether... Yeah. Back in the day, they thought that when it, when the state property broke up, I'm a big on state property, I'm a state property yeah, fan, and, so. and, and I grew up on that and watching them uh, really. Big. And now today, matter of fact, they reunited and shout out to Mike Knox. You know, what I mean, putting everybody right. back together. You know, what I'm saying, and 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 really, mm -hmm. when they putting people together, right? Mm -hmm. They 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 made moves. They travel now. They yeah, doing shows. They reignite. They reunite. There's yeah. nothing wrong with it because. And a shout out to my, my thorough young boys, too. I shout out to y'all because it's a <laughs> new era. It's a lot of thorough the, young boys out here getting yeah, to it. Listen, yeah. I can hold you. The young boys ain't like my young boys who grew up. Exactly. These young boys, listen, you ain't can't walk up to a young boy talking about I got $50 for it. Like, huh? That's <laughs> right. You got, got half a stack. Right. You got a dollar. Right. Like, young boys are body. Like, they do 20 30 40 50000 
That's different ways of getting money. You know what I'm saying? Right. But you know what's crazy though? <laughs> PUA over. <laughs> PUA. Yeah. So a lot of people hungry right now, man. You know what I mean? Pandemic. You know what I mean? <laughs> so what you think about this pandemic thing too, pandemic real quick, man? It was sickening, man. It was crazy. I made a lot of money during the pandemic. Uh it was a blessing in disguise. Uh if you was a businessman, it was a, a way for you to come up. Okay. You know, right. It was a way right. for you to like uh find something well, out of nothing basically well, and you know it was up to you as an individual business okay. owner to uh develop right. your platform more right when the pua triggered and kicked into effect so right. you know it, it was a blessing in disguise and you know regards to like everyone losing work and stuff right. like that you always got work or you should have always had work if you got, you know, hands and feet or a broom. Uh, right, right. You know, that's true, right? Pick up a broom. Right. I always say that. Pick, pick up a broom, broom, right. Have a sponge. You know what I'm um, saying? Oh, you, you know what's crazy? The dollar store. Uh, yeah, I wanted to that. touch on this. Hit the yeah. dollar store. You know what I'm That's right. I wanted to touch on something really, really major, too, that bothers me. Uh, a lot of people, on shout out to my ex-convicts, right? They wanted mm -hmm. to do something, right? And shout out to Wallow, W267. Mm -hmm. You're really showing inspiration to the city. And I respect it. A lot of these dudes Indeed. in the city, like, they like, oh, I ain't going to ride with this person. I go yeah. Listen, yeah. I respect the man who came from a bad situation that got to it and really made it happen. There's no uh, excuses. I got a saying. Uh, uh, when life hands yeah. you lemons, you make chocolate cake. You know what I'm saying? Like saying lemons, okay. Right, uh, you make chocolate cake. All right. You and and I like that. the best out of it. You know I, what I'm saying? I, and I got a little saying that I understood, right? It was an old movie called White Man Can't Jump, right? right. And I even <laughs> going through that. Listen, when you win, you really lose. And when you lose, you really win. Wow. So that's the name of the game, too. And we say with a hood, every setback and get back. Mm -hmm. So the thing about it is when you get incarcerated, that's a major setback. But the get back is crazy. A lot of dudes I notice in prison, right? Mm -hmm. They are for self. Like, I come, shout out to do for self. You know what that's about, and I don't want to get into all that. But do for that's self. South Philly, brother? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout out. You already know. <laughs> South okay. Philly niggas kill that will. Speaking of that, you know what I mean? Murder. <laughs> Say, worry about you. But, uh, it's to the P. Uh, basically, yeah, do for self. You know, that's a major thing, man. You know, a lot of minorities who go to prison and stuff, I noticed that they don't want to be slaves no more. A lot of people don't want to be yeah. slaves. And, yeah. and they want to work for themselves. And it's not, but here's my thing though. There's levels to this though. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So ashy, nasty, then classy. Mm -hmm. And first, in business, first year you're struggling, second year you're pumping, and the third year you're using ice skate. A lot of people think it's overnight. It's not. You gotta keep on pushing it and you wanna work for yourself. The same thing if you go out to a dollar store and they selling dollar stuff, you just do the same thing. A lot of females used to prime up, like they used to. Talk stuff about this, yes, yes. and a lot of females got their own businesses now. Mm -hmm. And you know, and, and shout out to my females that have their own business, and it's nothing right. wrong with that. Mm -hmm. Only thing I have a problem was with the man and the woman thing, and I'm not into all that. To mm -hmm. Say a woman should be less than them. No, I, I come from where the men was the head of the household. I ain't gonna hold you. Right, no doubt. And now with a guy who came back with society, come out today. The woman is like the man. The man is like the woman. What's going on? Like, they right, tell me what's going right. on. I ain't used to it, y'all. I'm not. Yeah, I'm serious. Yeah. And a lot of people, uh, um, they rest in peace for that girl who got killed or whatever, too. And, and, and for, uh, she got, I think, I was shot in, uh, uh, she's coming out of the car. She was a bartender. She was doing, getting money. And, Recently? You know, yeah. Okay. I, don't, I don't, you know, I don't want to talk about too much stuff, but it, it, mm -hmm. the thing about the balance with the women. See, a woman got to understand, right? And you understand that. When you out here with men that been through a lot of struggles, you got to understand, you got to learn your place. You got to be respectful. And you don't want a man just taking over, you know. But you got to let the man be the man. And the problem today is women want to act like the man. And it's no good. And you know what I mean? We got to learn control. What, what happened with the female that she got killed? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, she got killed. She I mean, killed? Right, oh, yeah. Wow. But what I'm saying is that mm -hmm. I noticed a lot of women, too. Let me give you an example. Like, um... Oh, man, I want to touch on a few things. Okay, so mm -hmm. let's say a lot of women out here now. People are traveling more ever now. Like right. minorities are tra I mean, mm -hmm. now I, I I was like, yo, you want to go on a local date? And these girls like, no, I want to go to Bermuda. You know what I mean? They want to they want to fly out somewhere. I'm like, well, 
Right. How you know if they're going to let us come back? Right. They want to go to places that you know, don't right. speak no English. Right. I'm like, you know, these people going to kill us. Right. Thank God. But That's the date now? Yeah. Traveling yeah. out of the country? Out of, yeah, out of the state. Wow. Yeah. They, 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 you know, they want, they want a lot of stuff, man. So, oh, shucks. Uh, I, I, I just think that we should... Uh, <laughs> I, I'm touching on a lot of topics, man. Because nah, that's cool. You know what? Yeah. Every time, you know, I hope to see you some more on the Diamond Blackout show. Diamond Blackout. But yeah, right. you home when you come to the Diamond Blackout show. That's what I'm talking about. You touch on the gazillion uh, things if you choose to touch on the. That's gazillion what I'm things. talking about. Uh, yeah, we lay it out on the table, bro. Yeah, I'm just yeah. wanting us to like. That's what my reality show is about. Like with certain stuff that you can mm -hmm. watch. And you can learn and be like, okay, maybe I could do it this way. Yeah. Or maybe I could do it that way. I shouldn't do it that way because that's the outcome of that. Right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, another thing is uh, what a lot of people, and I don't really into it, they standing up to the police. Mm -hmm. I, I would say, I, see, see, big cities are rebels, right? And right. I'm not saying I have nothing against, because it has to be law of the land. You got to respect it because if not, it'd be chaos. Mm. But. Sometimes they just stand up to these cops. Many they racist, they biased out here. It's a lot of stuff. And so when yeah. I see my people go wild, sometimes I get hyped. But then I'd be like, yeah, that's a little foolishness. But here's my thing. Mm -hmm. People was turned the other cheek and some people was eye for an eye. Yeah. And I'm not saying that I ain't turned the other cheek and I ain't saying I'm eye for an eye. But if you do me dirty, we got to do you dirty. But, you know, I, I think we, we got to start speaking up as minorities and, and making our own clothing line and mm -hmm. supporting each other. I got this thing called SBB, uh, supporting black people, businesses. And it ain't just black, it's just minorities, period. You know what I mean? Well, I make it a, uh, okay. I make it a mission of mine is to support black people. Okay. Me personally, like as that. a black man, Absolutely. I be feeling like I'm an endangered species that uh -huh. no longer exists because, you know, when the masses hear you speak as a man. Right. It's a, the dynamics change right. and the paradigm shifts because it's like, wait a minute, he's not gay, he uh he not wearing crazy clothes, or he ain't walking around with a purse. <laughs> my my <laughs> man, my man, like, I ain't wearing no fanny packs. I ain't packs. doing none of that. Yeah, I ain't doing none of that. That's right. And I'm ashy as hell, and this is how we come in yeah. as a man. You right, know what I'm I respect it's okay that. I to like be that. A man, but they have us in this dimension where we're feeling like, wow, our backs are against the wall. If you even speak up about it, you know. Right. I'm talking to a brother one day, right, and we yeah. like, yeah, blah blah blah. So the nigga said, do do do. Yeah. And you know, sixteen eyes went on me like he said the word nigga. I'm like, we always say nigga when we talk. It's right. The term, it's the term of endearment. Right. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> So if I'm talking to somebody that's an A like and they can relate to where I'm coming from, this is the language you, we use and we've been using. I'm not going to oh. shift it up because it's like, y'all not using it no more. Y'all right. been big, big called niggas for over 400 years and we just choose to use that terminology right. with someone that sees where you coming from as a term of endearment. Not right. to like shoot somebody down. Mm. And, you know, it bugged hey. me out that I had to almost you know go all the way through it explaining that. Right. If you and I was sitting somewhere and we talking, I'm like, yeah, so the yeah. nigga do do do. Yeah. You'd be like, yeah, the nigga probably did. Yeah, right. You know right. But that's what it is. But, oh, wow. you know, that word now is like, uh, they tired of using it. So now it's like, yeah. you know, uh, a certain light shines on it. It's been a light shine on it. That's yeah. why we took it and we made it bright. Right. You know? Uh, yeah, because that's it was just one thing out of like a thousand things that happened as a black man. Hey, hey listen, another mm -hmm. thing too. If y'all mm -hmm. listening to this, y'all 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 tuning to the show, right? Uh, I was gonna say what y'all need to do is right. You type and go to YouTube and type in "Goodbye Uncle Tom." You watch that movie, man. Wow. Goodbye Uncle Tom. You might be a little biased. I'm not trying to say. I'm not trying to start racism, there, but I we just need our people to, to to be for self and stuff like that. And anybody else that's watching it from. Because I got followers from different countries. I ain't gonna lie. She Rich Reality Show, I got no subscribers doubt. from all over. And mm -hmm. I, I'm not racist. I'm only prejudiced against prejudice. That's one. And another thing is, I, ra I see, that's why I talk. Hey, guys, I tell you, because I was raised in a um, white place. That's I was, funny, though. I I was like in a group it. home. Yeah. I was in a group home. No doubt. No doubt. So I was around white people, right? So mm -hmm. shout out to my boys from Levin for Cumberland, too. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I was in a group home. And when I was in this group home, uh, basically, they take you away from your action. So I'm living around white people, you know, different people. And I'm like, yeah. yo. So uh, another thing, I, I, I got a reason why for that. I used to smoke cigarettes. I was mm -hmm. so stressed away from home. He was like, yo, you want a cigarette? I was like, yeah, what's up? So I took the cigarette. 
And he was like, say, say the staff is coming. So I inhaled it. Man, they had me smoking Winston's. I was smoking Marlboro's. I was smoking every damn cigarette under the air. Like, and this guy passed to me. He was like, yo, don't, don't, don't nigger lip my stuff. I'm like, nigger lip? What do you mean, nigger lip? Wow, so I was like ready to beat him up and all that. But that's deep, man. I was around white people and we we tell yeah. jokes to each other. Like right. we had like uh I, well, I, I reversed the joke. How you give a white man CPR, you right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, this joke. But anyway. I'm just saying, so like... So the reverse of that was how you give a black man or how you give a nigga... Yeah, CBR, right. Oh, my gosh, that's crazy. So uh, I did a lot of little versatile, but I know how they Super get... Super racist. Right, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I went to school with heavy, headbangers, yeah. heavy metal dude, preps. I went to school with just different people. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and that's and, some heavy work right there, though, she... Right. To process it. Right. Yeah. So it's like speaking different language, bilingual. Yeah. So I, I took that, I went back to the city... And when I got back to the city, I got, I can see my niggerism, but I got black again. You know what I mean? Because I walked up to my man was like, yo, can you cut me on that cigarette? Cut you on the cigarette? Who don't talk like that? So I'm like, I'm like, oh, yo, let me get a puff. Let me, you know what I mean? Yo, let me get a puff for that. Bust down. It was a beautiful. Yeah, so that's why I talk like both languages. So when you see, hey, guys, I tell you, when I'm here on the street with reality show, then you got some people, I ain't a sellout, though, but that's how people be talking sometimes. Like, you be like, damn, you you cold nerd boy. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you forget where you come from. Like, no, I'm versatile. Right. So, uh, you know. I think it's important to be able to communicate with different um people right yeah different different uh lifestyles out there it's, it, it takes all kinds it takes everybody yeah. actually yeah, yeah man you know so like i said I, you know i want to you know we're out here chasing the dream and right now yeah. since they created this uh um computer stuff with these different platforms yeah. twitter uh facebook instagram and stuff like that i think it's time to utilize it yeah. And you better utilize it. And a lot of people were... From a creative aspect, it's very important. Right, and not like being creative, man. I found out years ago I had a talent, and I said to myself, man, even if you in a 23-in-1 cell, you can't even move, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it, it, it's like you in there, there's nothing to do but think and go to the library, you know what I mean? Go practice yourself and learn yourself. When you learn yourself, I said, she, everybody keep telling me get a job. A job stand was just over broke. Now, mm -hmm. hear me out. I don't knock nobody got a job, but it's certain people to be leaders and some people be workers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, you got pack boys, you got corner guys, you got different levels. You got to find out your niche. So that's what I've been doing. I want to work for myself. I use this platform to network with people and get out there. You know what I mean? When I get signed, I'm, I'm just letting y'all know, you know, when I get to this network and everything, I'm not shitting on my community or nothing. I want to bring back. Mm -hmm. our people I want to have some sessions and I learned thing about earlier I said that, that cigarette stuff guess what I learned from that I'm 20 something years clean I don't smoke a cigarette every since really you hear me yeah. don't I don't smoke cigarettes my cousin told me he said uh shout out to Chester too right mm -hmm. all my boys in the city of Chester Oh boy, you Chester know, yeah, 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 I got Let's Chester boy, Chester, Chester, you know what I mean? <laughs> Chester, uh, you know, on my first, you know, people, you know, love I had my Chester. love of Chester. Yeah. East Side and all that. I yeah. shot the Bennett L Vaughn, you know, third all the street, eighth street, all that. Yeah. Um so I grew up in Chester too a little bit too. And I was playing Tonk, you know, having fun on the games. My cousin said to me one day, he said, Why you smoke? This stuff stink. Mm -hmm. And I was like, Wow, yeah, it do stink. Yeah. So I was like, I don't want to smoke no more. So right. I, I wound up leaving that stuff alone. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, and I don't smoke. So now SNR also got a stop smoking uh, kit that I do. It only charge a hundred dollars right now. Okay. And I can teach people how to stop smoking. Okay. Uh, you know, we doing seminars. Ready to do seminar. Ready to take this thing to a whole different level, man. You know, anybody that know me, man, I'm on my change. And if you don't like me, you're a hater. You know what I mean? You can't get what I got. So you this and that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know I'm, what? You have a dynamic personality, and uh, that came across when we linked up. Okay. Definitely. How can the people reach you if they choose to deal business with you? Yeah. They want to be featured on, you know, the uh, reality show. Yes. Or they want to purchase fragrances from you or okay. you know, for you to um, your services. All right. So listen, man, all we got to do basically, you know, you go to Instagram, you type in Sheed underscore dollars like D-O-L-L-A-Z number one. You know what I'm saying? And, Sheed uh, dollars one. 
she no sheed underscore sheed underscore Dallas, Dallas number one number one yeah and she rich in the pop up uh yeah. go to YouTube try to type that up um you can hit me up on my email uh, that? that's Rashid Richardson seventy nine at gmail dot com so we're gonna spell it for your R A S H E E D Richardson, R I C H A R D S O N 79 at Chivo You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, man, you know, I just I just speak stuff in the real stuff. That's all. Yeah, I, I enjoy it. I'm like, like, you're welcome to come back anytime on the Diamond Blackout show because we do this we cover realism. Yes. Know, things that's like really impactful to, for the community, to the community, and it's a way that, you know, Shift things into the right direction. And, and, and I want to cover something for this record. Listen, I don't walk around as no tough dude. I carry myself a little chump or nothing like that. But I don't start no trouble. I don't bother with people. I don't. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I also, um, I get along with the people. That's all I'm saying to you. Right. And if you want to network with me, let's network. I I stay in my lane. You know, all my gangsters that listen to it, you know, shout out to my gangster boys, top button, ready to buck something. Listen, <laughs> I stays in my lane. You hear me? All right. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Word up. I, I had fun with you coming here today. Mm -hmm. uh, the fragrances is super. Yeah, yeah I'm telling y'all, the fragrances is hitting. I smelled them for y'all. <laughs> no, no. The male and the female joints. So, um, shout mm -hmm. out to She Richardson for coming through mm -hmm. to the Diamond Blackout show. Oh, we really Blackout. appreciate you, yeah, brother. Me? Uh, make sure you come back uh, anytime you want. The door is open. Um, we had a ball, man, for real. And like you said, y'all would like to get up with him. Don't hesitate to reach out to him. Um, anything, any shout outs, anything? Or anything oh, yeah. Saying, All right. On. No doubt, man. You know, I'm a project boy. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You know, PHA was my thing. Filled up Housing Authority. You know, a shout out to y'all. If y'all doing better things to help people, I appreciate y'all. Um, I want to shout out to, you know what I mean, all my boys at FKD, you know, Frankfurt. I got to shout out to my man, Cook G's. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you raising the pups up and doing what it do. Uh, shout out to my young boy, Chubbs, and all that. You know what I mean? All my young boys in Frankfurt, they know what's up, man. You know what's your boy, Sheed. And uh, I know, you know, the whole tri-state, you know, all my hustles, anybody I love, and you family. I'm going to shout you out. I ain't get to everybody. Don't, don't knock me. It's all good. It's at me. <laughs> no and, I, and you know what I usually say at my stuff? At the end of every of my show, I usually say, between time and the meantime, I holler. That's what Word. I usually say. And this your man, Diamond Thomas. Y'all already know how to do barbecue boogaloo. <laughs> Sitting here with Sheet Richardson once and again, right here in the Diamond Blackout Show. we catch you on the flip side. Word. Peace. Right, peace.